A new study estimates that total cigarette consumption declined in the European Union in 2021, but illicit trade is still growing, mainly driven by the consumption of fake cigarettes in countries like France. A report produced by KPMG on the consumption and flows of illicit cigarettes in the 27 EU member states, as well as UK, Norway and Switzerland, reveals that 35.5 billion illicit cigarettes were consumed in the EU in 2021 an increase of 1.3 billion compared to the previous year. Illicit cigarettes now account for 8.1% of total consumption in the EU, with governments losing 10.4 billion euros in tax annually. Illicit trade in cigarettes in the region is now larger than the legal cigarette market volumes of Czech Republic, Slovakia and Hungary combined. The state of illicit trade is, clearly, still a cause for concern. France remains the largest market for illicit cigarettes among all 30 countries in the KPMG study, with more than 15 billion illicit cigarettes consumed in 2021. Counterfeits were a major contributor to the overall rise of the illicit cigarette markets in the EU. A total of 12.3 billion fake cigarettes were consumed in 2021, a 34.6% of total illicit consumption. Organized criminal groups continue to move their operations inside EU borders. Now, a large proportion of counterfeit cigarettes are being manufactured in illegal factories within the EU. However, most EU countries, 16 out of 27 member states, experienced declining or stable consumption of illicit cigarettes in 2021. Poland, in particular, saw remarkable progress in its fight against illicit trade with illicit cigarette volumes declining by 1.4 billion. Millions of adult smokers who don't quit cigarettes are turning to the black market instead of accessing and switching to better alternatives. Fakes are the cheapest form of illicit tobacco and therefore disproportionately impact the least privileged in society, driving them to unregulated and inferior quality products. Now more than ever, consumers need access to information so they have a better understanding of the dangers posed by the illicit cigarette markets and the risks that all forms of illicit trade pose to public health. A robust response from both the public and private sector is critically needed. Law enforcement agencies, governments, trademark owners and civil society must come together to fight illicit trade. We all have a role to play.